If you ever go to Boulder, you go to one of the broker restaurants. Uh, they don't bring you bread. They bring you a shrimp bowl. Boulder, Colorado? Yeah. <laughs> How did they get the shrimp there? I mean, it's like, it's nowhere That's what near I'm saying. the ocean. If you eat that shrimp, it's like buying a lottery ticket. You're taking your life in your own hands. You know what I'm saying? They got it out of Boulder Reservoir, those little ones with the shell. So you had to de-shell them. Yeah. Oh, my God. So they'd bring you Lee. Lee, I'm fucking on mercy. They'd bring you a bowl this big. The middle would have red sauce, and it would be fucking two inches of those shrimp, peel and eat shrimp on a bed of ice. They didn't bring you bread. That's what they brought you. And you would sit there with your date, dip, dip, dip. That reminds me of my oh, father, my first time he went to Las Vegas, the buffet. He had never been to a buffet before. Oh, Cubans are Imagine crazy. a Cuban at a buffet. Oh, no, they go crazy. And, and, and it's usually like that. You know, like you're talking about he'll go to the shrimp, the shrimp bowl, and that's it. Load up the plate with shrimp, and he would sit there and start sweating because he just couldn't eat anymore. He was full. But it's, you know, it's buffet, so it's, it's all you can, you, it's you, you can eat. Yeah. It's the principle. And we and yeah. Cubans get mad at the white people for eating lettuce at the buffet. Mira blanco. Mira come pinga eso comiendo ensalada. Yo aquí comiendo my camarón and crab legs from Katrina. Shrimp with eyes and missing an eyeball and shit. Katrina shrimp, but we're living like doctors. We don't give a fuck. Look at that white dude eating fucking salad. Look at that fucking moron. Fuck him. I'm over eating prime rib. Oh, man. <coughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's the truth. Yeah, that's how we think. Fuck him. Yeah. Look at that white dude making toast. We well, got you, Rudy said as he came in. He's like the media. We were talking about Cuban food. He said the media noche same, which was because they your parents thought you would like uh, not suffocate, starve uh, to death, starve to death in the middle of the night. Yeah, like, what yeah, are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. yeah when well, you're sleeping, hours. it's eight hour without food, so you know you're going to starve. So it's so you eat a sandwich before, so that will. Take care of the of the next eight hours. Let me tell you I think I should. I was born to be Cuban. We God forbid you had a Cuban grandmother <laughs> that lived in the house. She wake you up again. That had that you're her grandson, but you're her son's son. Uh oh. So your mother naturally hates her. That bitch's job is just to fatten you up, <laughs> and, and she'll tell your mother to go fuck herself. Like, she's the only one that can tell your mother, oh yeah, this is between me and my grandson, get the fuck out of the room. And your mother's looking at you like, don't eat that fucking thing, and you're like, I'm a grandma, bitch. <laughs> Tally-ho, right, grandma? <laughs> oh my God, no. Cuban grandmothers will kill you, well, dog. Now you're bringing Noche Buena. Yeah. Noche Buena in in Havana, growing up in Havana, you know, I was a little kid, and and the first sign that you know it was going to be a rock in Noche Buena was the sound of the pig getting slaughtered, right? And in, in in the neighborhood, you know, we lived in the middle of Havana, and you know, you would go down to like a like a lot, like an empty lot, and somebody would slaughter the pig right there. I mean, I'm not proud of that right no, now. No, that's what that's what it is. That's what that's it is. the way I was raised. That's how it and is. And then before you know it, at night, they bring the whole pig with the, with a pineapple or whatever apple in the mouth, and it still has like little hairs on the skin because they they were not able to like shave it off completely, and you just pick the rind, pork rind. I grew up in pork rind, you know, th stuff that just horrifies me today. But this is this is Delicious. how we grew up with the fat attached to it. Oh my god! Yeah, and you back, chew on that, and you chew on that yeah. as a oh kid. My god. It's horrible. Oh my god! Oh my yes. God. No, 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 no. I wouldn't even think about it today. Yeah, horrible. You know, but that's the way that we were, grow, you know, brought up like that. You know, it's uh, in my house. It was a ceremony with the pig. Like it was a ceremony, like since I could remember. It was, and I don't know if it, Noche Buena is New Year's or the night uh, before no, it's Christmas. The night, it's the night, be, it's, it's Christmas Eve. Okay, so this is what they did in my house growing up. Yeah. They went to the bar, mm -hmm. they went into the afternoon to the store and killed the pig. Mm -hmm. They went to Margolinzano's, they got the pig killed, mm -hmm. and it got delivered to my house already. Mm -hmm. And then at three, mm -hmm. my mother would come home with her girlfriends and take the guts out, the whole thing, and then lay it on a metal pan uh -huh. and marinate it. But the marination took 10 hours. So they'd snort coke and drink and marinate the pig and sing Christmas songs and shit <coughs> while they were fucked up and make eggnog and shit. When I would wake up that morning, the Christmas Eve morning, they would be fucking lit. They would be lit and they go, go and come back. And by the time you get back, the pig will be ready. 
they would, you know, marinate that thing for eight oh, fucking hours. Garlic. Garlic. Moho. Moho is and, and the... And tell them how bad a Cuban refrigerator smells. Can you tell people, <laughs> like, if you leave a soda in there and you're going to open it up, even the metal stinks like fucking garlic and shit. And yeah, you're it's like, moho. I can't drink this fucking soda. All I taste is garlic. Moho is garlic and nar naranja agria. Naranja, which, yeah. The, naranja agria. Orange is uh, yeah, sour orange. Sour orange. orange. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that's the mojo. That's what gives yeah, it the yeah, flavor yeah. to the yeah, pig. Yeah, yeah. And they would sit there rubbing that motherfucker. Would that freak you out as a kid seeing a pig? Like you just learned about I it? I wouldn't even look at it. I wouldn't even look at it. I wouldn't even any better. You know, I would look at the like my mother would go look, look at his teeth, <laughs> and I <I'd> fucking <laughs> shit my pants. Ah, and I run out of the house and shit. I come back ten hours later. That motherfucker was cooked to the gills. With his eyeball still in and shit. Yeah. And, and are these like family this. recipes, like that your moms have been passing down? Everybody, I can't imagine this is in a cookbook. I mean, it's just like a, a Hawaiian luau. They do the same thing. Same thing, you right? Know. Yeah. This has been done by every fucking nationality. Oh, you know, but I'm just saying, like cooking of a fucking, you know, like each family probably has its own like different little take on it, or because it's like I don't know, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool th thinking, oh, I didn't get this out of a cookbook. This is something that's been that. My great grandpa would taste it, know exactly what the fuck this is. It's handed down generations, you know? and they each have their own yeah. fucking retarded way of doing it. You got <laughs> to bring the pig in from the north, yeah. <laughs> or something. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always something. Like you, you no, no, no. He's got to come in through the back door. You got to drag him through the back door. He can't come in through a pig. A pig can't come in through the front door. He's got to come in through the back door. What the fuck are you talking about? Doesn't matter. We don't have a back door. Put him through the back window. <laughs> Next thing you know, you fucking got a pig committing suicide in the back with a noose around his neck because you're fucking bringing him up to the fourth floor and shit. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. I got away from that shit early. By like the fifth grade, I was done. I was done with that Cuban shit. <coughs> I had had it. I had had it. And then I would av avoid all those things, but I would still go to my mother's bar because I'd make money up there. Oh my God. Those Cubans would always give you 20s on the holidays and 50s. So I go up there for a night and walk out of there with four hundred. For what? What do you have to do? I just hug people. Okay. Just hug them. How you doing? I'm available. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh my God, you've gotten so big. Are you doing great in school? Yes. Here's fifty. And the drunker they got, the more jokes I told them, and the more twenties they give me. There was a there was a couple bookies that would come in there that would go in there with pockets full of money, and I knew it. And I'd hit them up before they left. What's going on, dog? Let me tell you a joke. We're going in like fucking Marines. You understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.